Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together is success. Hello my dear students. I hope you all are in good health and spirits. I'm your class teacher Pallavi ma'am and I will also be taking your English classes this session. Your testing times demands innovative ways of connecting to you all. Yes, it is not an easy task but we are determined to make the best of it and it is only possible with your cooperation. Hoping that we both are together to make this effort successful. Children, math is the most interesting subject and trust me, you and me are going to have lots and lots of fun while studying mathematics, right? Now before we proceed to the concepts of class 1, let us revise something which we have already done in KG, okay? And we will begin with the sequencing of numbers. Today we meet under a very unusual circumstance. But I'm thankful to technology for allowing us to interact even when we are far apart. I know ideally I would have taught my students one to one in the classroom, but because of the present situation, we would have to rely on Google to be the via media between us, so that we may utilize this time period fruitfully for the benefit of the students. I asked you all to pick a few examples from your surrounding of a point and of a line set. I also went around in my house and picked up few examples. Now the first example which I picked up is a pencil. Uh, now, stand straight, then keep your hands in front and you have to walk over the cushions. You are not supposed to touch the cushions with your hands or with your knees. You have to do animal walk like this. Do it, do it, do it. Then when you will reach the cushion then you have to hop between the cushions like one and two. Now the thing is components of food. It is very important for us to have good food, nutritious food. And what will this nutritious food give us? It will give us the immunity to fight with the diseases, isn't it? It is because of the nutrients present in the food. And by nutrients, we mean the proteins, the carbohydrates, the fats, the vitamins and the minerals. You know, five nutrients, if we eat, we can make a fist and we can fight with the diseases. Isn't it? Uh, main course book has seven units, all right, and they're all thematic. That They all follow a theme. Here the first one is play the game, which talks about games. The second one is on the move, it's about travel. The third one is a fun unit, it's, it's a laugh riot, it talks about some interesting funny chapters. Then you have one world which talks about saving the earth. Then you have another interesting one, Hello Mr. Ghost, talks about ghost stories. When we and talk then, about Bihu, this is the basic step of Bihu. So, if you have noticed carefully, I have placed my hand, right hand on my waist, the right covers my belly and reaches to my left hand. Even if you're not able to hold it, that is perfectly fine. But you have to place it like this. So this is how it goes. The torso goes down and up, whereas the elbows, the elbows go in and out with the torso. So this is how it will go. So when I start the music, I have uh, I start with a particular beat where you have to clap. So, in the so children, there is very interesting story behind the discovery of this synthetic fiber. You know that silk fiber is obtained from silkworm and we have studied about this fiber in class 7. We also know it was first discovered in China. Chinese people kept it as a very closely guarded secret for a very long time. They didn't want to disclose it to the world that how are they extracting this fiber. But people were fascinated with this fiber because silk had a beautiful texture. It was very soft, it could be dyed in many colors and also it was very attractive. So the problem was that the new constitution of 1791 did not solve the problems of the common people. The new government as we discussed yesterday was mainly of the rich people, the wealthy people. Only the wealthy people, the highest taxpayers were allowed to vote and also to become the parts of uh, the electors as well as the National Assembly. 
so the poor people were still suffering the prices of bread were still high the supply of bread and other essential quantity uh, you know commodities were still not matching the great demand that was there in the country so, so the today we will do some solar exercise and for this we are going to fill water bottle so the first exercise is and like this start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 stop 10 second break so these expenses are coming down to zero earlier they were recorded as expenses understand the nature they were earlier recorded as expenses now these expenses are no longer existing they are converted into drawing so that is why from 2000 expenses are going to zero so that is why i have recorded here is so that clear this is by b's drawings account yes okay okay understand the nature whether this expense is getting created or getting eliminated in this case expenses are getting eliminated from the books so that is why we are recording as a gain okay okay now third entry <coughs> bills of exchange it has no effect from one account to another account it is going to be entered uh, no effect on revaluation i want to say pretend hmm. that you are visiting a museum or listening to a discussion and follow these rules if artwork is shown on the screen do not touch the artwork secondly once you are done seeing the video think about how the artwork relates to your life and to your own personal experiences okay now on your screen you see the potentiometer wire which extends from a to b the current yes. in the potentiometer wire is governed by this external battery the amount of current has to be a constant in our potentiometer wire which is ensured by the rheostat in the circuit this is known as the primary battery or the primary cell which drives the potentiometer this is known as the secondary cell which is an external component to the potentiometer now once you connect like this and if the galvanometer does not show any deflection what does that imply in the mode of this last formula and then we will try to do a numerical from ncrt based on this okay now this is your ncrt textbook i am picking up a question from the additional exercise we will be trying question number 23 from the additional exercise i'm okay uh, yes okay visible yes ma'am yes ma'am now the first part i would like to know which one is the primary and which one is the secondary battery in this diagram 